Let's all pray to the technology gods that my two laptops and my smartphone can handle this one. Am I right? Hello, friends and strangers on the internet. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are y'all ready for this one? I don't know if I'm ready for this one, but this one is brought to you by my Patreon members, or at least one of y'all. Thank you so much, my Patreon members, and thank you everybody who has considered doing it, even though you haven't clicked that $1 tier button yet, but don't worry, it's okay. You don't have to do that. Um, today, brought to you by our by my lovely Patreon member, we are going to be doing The Tale of Jenny and Screech. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, I've been told this one's a great one. I, I have been told so many things. I have gotten so many comments about this one, y'all. They all blur together. I don't even remember half of it. What I remember, what I do remember, y'all, is tale of, I remember Jenny, Screech, 13 minutes long music video. That was what I remembered. And you have to do this one. That's what I remember. So you know what? We're, we're here. We're here. We're doing it. Thank you. Thank you again to my Patreon member who suggested this one. Link in the description if you are interested in becoming one of those members. Let's jump into this reaction because I don't know how much um, my computer can actually handle. And this one is 13 minutes long and I talk a lot. So let's go. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Tales of the Tale of Jenny and Screech official music video by Ren from Ren's channel. Link in the description. Go give likes, subscribes to Ren if you haven't already. Welcome, Renegades. Let's go. <laughs> It's a quiet, dark night in an empty street Somewhere at London City Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? We I'm sorry, I know he's telling this story here. Hi, Ren, you're just looking straight at the camera right now. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm kind of distracted by the graffiti here, and I do apologize. I would like to, um, I, I was, there's a lot of pretty decent artwork on these walls, and while I did hear most of the lyrics, I do want to take it back just in case I missed some. Okie dokie. So far, Jenny's dragging her feet home. That's all I remember. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, we're going to take it back. We're going to get some more of this. Sorry. Let's go. Also, I like the funny noises he was making here. Those. <laughs> <clears throat> it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet, she was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Well, on the very same night in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt. Um. Getting the feeling I'm gonna need something. Just give me a moment. All right, we're all good now. Let's go. I was scared. Usually she was. A and take it back a little bit. The boy, it's James. He grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech. He was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. 
As Jenny walked home all alone, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade With the teeth that could bite through steel And slice concrete And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Okay, first of all, not only is Ren spinning this narrative very beautifully, but these rhymes, uh, I'm getting like minstrel vibes actually, <laughs> like rap minstrel. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily rap, but the way he's like, his, his cadence, the way his voice is like going through it. Oh my goodness. It's, and I, it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's, it's, hmm. I'm a little caught off guard by the story, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I, I really like the way he's using rhymes here. I don't, I don't know, I just, I like the poetry of it. I just really like the poetry of it. I'm gonna take it back a tiny bit um, and we'll just keep going. <laughs> Teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest And the statue she was turned to butter in her breath it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor, because she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. What a dark irony of turning a escape and wanting to sleep into into that. Wow. Uh, it was an interesting way to turn that around. Wow. And yeah, I guess what a shame. My goodness. A way to really bring that full circle, huh? To like, uh, you know, she wants she she wants to she's looking for, you know, she wants to sleep. She wants to escape. And then. uh Interesting, interesting. Uh, what a lyrical genius. I guess now we're gonna listen to Screech, which is uh, the young man who hurt Jenny, killed Jenny in the in the first story. Let's uh, let's hear about Screech then. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I see something tying the two videos together, the, the guitar solo at the beginning and the graffiti in the background and just, that's kind of cool. Um, awesome. All right, let's keep going. Screech's tail. All right. Our story, it starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny clocked out like big <laughs> this screech did. I feel bad laughing about that. I feel bad laughing about that, but clocked out like Big Ben. Oh, oh, I feel bad laughing about that. Sorry. Y'all ever laugh at something because you're just kind of uncomfortable? You ever do that? That's, <laughs> yeah. 
to the end Heard the life of poor Jenny Clocked out like Big Ben Dear Screech, dear boy Where did he go? He melted into the black night Just like snow Patrick man, let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man, I'm not sure I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man, I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind, that does away Hey babe, are you in? No, nah, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren. Hold on, it... All of that felt like it was on rhythm. Does that make sense? The phone call? Just I was replaying it in my head and it sounded like I don't know, it was it was it was like still in time with the rhythm of the music. Or 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 maybe I'm just mishearing it, but that that's what oh that was I don't know. I kinda wanna the way he was breathing was also like in tempo. I don't know, it just it it felt like it. Hey babe, are you in? No, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing? Around yours for a few moments. Like, especially that breath before he said around yours for a few moments. Yeah, like, it, it felt like it was in rhythm in time with the music. Again, maybe I'm wrong, but it just felt like that. I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that six foot three. Work in London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. That's clever. Oh, that's clever camera work, my goodness. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's clever. Wow. Ah, oh, story, it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. And off it's so shaken by the boy that he claimed two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame it's such a shame why am i getting a hint of like I don't want to say comedy, but there's, I don't know. Maybe it's just the irony of it all. I, I guess that's all it is. It's just, there's a hint of irony here. That's almost like, huh, that's funny. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying too hard to stay lighthearted about this. But yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. There's one more. Called Violet, okay. Violet's tape, okay. 
another guitar solo. No graffiti this time, though. Okay, so this time we're in a hospital, no graffiti, but we still get the guitar solo? Alright. Okay, I'm going to take it back, because I talked over that instead of listening. Sorry. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains, she's our lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick <laughs> Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and the she knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie But never left the room History repeats itself He paint her black and blue and dark She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance Violet, why are you always so quiet? on her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes, but her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone Full force, full blown, blood black bone Crack, knick knack, paddy whack One to the jaw and the tooth back Detached fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Mm -hmm. Not one word. She stays quiet. Man, the rhyme scheme there was insane.
Holy cow. Um, yeah, I just needed a moment to process what just happened, so I just thought of something interesting to say, and I couldn't think of more interesting things to say, and yeah, okay, done processing. We can keep watching the video now, sorry. <laughs> Just like in the first song, the way he came full circle with escape and sleep. And again, in the third, second song, where he came full circle with, uh, gosh, I don't remember. It's been so long ago. Uh, but in this one, he came full circle with uh, Violet being a silent girl. Wow. All right. <laughs> Fascinating. I like the, uh, the, 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 the repetition of the patterns there. I very much like that. It's very artistic and poetic. Let's uh, let's keep going. London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet. She was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence And she cried, if I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty Two, zero, zero, five A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Oh wow, and we came full circle once again Oh wow Wow. All right then. Wow. It felt like this story had a hint of almost humorous irony. I guess humorous really isn't the right word, but I can't find the right word. It's very well written. I think I remember reading in some comments that these three videos were done at different times, but were, you know, brought together in the end. And I like it. I like that it's, um... It's like it follows the form. And, and you know, like at the beginning of Violet's Tale, I was like, oh, no, we broke the pattern of being out on the street walking. Well, Ren just proved me wrong by going outside and being in the street walking with the guitar again. Wow. It's almost like he was like, you think we're breaking away from this situation with somebody named Violet who's not even in the title. But guess again. It's actually about Jenny and Screech all over again. Ha ha, we got you. Wow, that's really clever. That's really freaking clever, Ren. I like it. Also, I think that... Hmm. Did you add the extra time at the end of Violet's Tale so that this video could be exactly 13 minutes and 31 seconds long? Because I think that's also kind of cool. The little mirror image of the 1331. I could be wrong, but it feels intentional. Um... There was like a whole couple seconds of just black screen there before it was like video over. So it makes me wonder, was that intentional? Was that another part of this, you know, this narrative, this poetic and artistic narrative you've put together? I am having a hard time explaining what I'm seeing here, but I'm seeing a pattern here and I'm wondering if that's also related to it. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot. Like, that was a lot to take in. I feel like this one really deserves um, some real picking apart and breaking down, but I am not the one to do it, especially in a blind reaction. My goodness, I'd have to, like, completely go through this and really study it if I wanted to do that. And I just, uh, I, that's just not something I could do with a blind reaction, frankly. But I could, like, do it all video essay style if I wanted to, if I wanted to take the time. It would be a really fun project, actually. I might consider that as a Patreon project or just, you know, my very first video essay. I don't know. 
I'll consider that. Anyway, I'm rambling. That was phenomenal. That was really phenomenal. And I wish I had the ability to like really break down all the different ways that I think it's phenomenal, but I just, there was so much happening that I just really could not be able to do that in, in like a blind reaction style video. But wow, that was really, I, I really got, I don't know. There's just, there's just too much for me to try to explain. <laughs> Either way, though, I really liked the, the formula of it, the way things came full circle in a pattern. Just beautiful. Just really, really beautiful. Um, very well done. Very well thought out. Maybe it wasn't as thought out as it appears, but it is just... Oop, my alarm's going off. Sorry. Um, yeah, just... Um, I think it just was really, really, really well done. That's really all I can say. I, I really want to pick it apart, but there was just, there's, there's so much to pick apart, but I really love how everything just kind of had a pattern to it and everything fit that pattern. And that pattern was very uh, cyclical in a way. Just, uh, just well done. I'm really glad I did this one today. Thank you so much to the Patreon member who suggested it. Um, I was putting this one off, but your your suggestion made it to where I was motivated to finally do it. So I appreciate you, and I appreciate your membership, and I appreciate everyone for being here and watching my videos. If this is the first time you have heard of Ren for some reason, and you really like what you saw and heard, go click the link in the description. Give him a like and a subscribe and some love. He truly deserves it as an artist, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.